Hello and welcome to the next video of Assassin's Creed. We're still playing this. I've been pushed down the seventh. I really need to get back into this game. I haven't really played Assassin's Creed multiplayer in a while. And there's so many prestige guys. No, why does the group break off? The crud. Keep with me, group. Keep with me. All right. Oh my goodness, I have two pursuers. Oh, great. I knew it. Oh, did I use a chameleon at the last second? What the heck? Didn't even hit that button. Crud. I knew it, though. Dag nabbit. Oh, oh, oh. What are you doing on the roof? Get off. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know. Change my dang guy. Dink. Let me know how these videos come out. If they come out well at all. I am not doing well. myself away. Nice outfit for... Oh, I'm presu presuming this is the, supposed to be the Huntsman. Get off the roof! Bag. You have been what? You scumbag. He got out of that stun pretty fast. Dink. Oh, she's over there. I see her. So many prestige people. No, the middle one. No, the middle one. Contract lost. Oh my goodness. Go for the ground finish. Why not? There. Kick your head in. I want to play Brotherhood's multiplayer. That was one of my favorite. I hate how the alt. They altered these ones. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm not good at this game anymore. I'll try and do Brotherhood. I, I can't remember if I have Revelations. I remember Revelations was the one you had to pay for, which was really stupid. Another reason I hated Revelations. Oh my goodness, there's my target. Get over here, you piece of crud! I don't care, you're dead. You're dead. Who the heck is talking? Hang yourself with that rope. Especially you, lady. Freaking gave me a hard time trying to find you. Who the heck has the microphone? Oh yeah, look at that. Look at those prestige. I just pushed through everybody like the Joker. <laughs> All right. Enough of that. Goodness, all these prestige people. Uh. Anyways, the characters that I play is that, um, the dandy, uh, designed to look like the Joker. There he is. Uh, I don't, th I have a feeling he.
I have a feeling he's a reference to the Joker, though. Alfie Gardner. I'll have to check into that. Uh, I think she's Harley Quinn, the puppeteer. It's pretty obvious. And she's, like, right above the Joker guy, too. Like, it has to be obvious. He's got both... You can set up a green and purple outfit, just like his own. And Joker was dressed fancy. He just was very eccentric with the colors of his outfit. And then he's got, like, the, the scarred, like lipstick kind of like Heath Ledger's version and then like the black makeup around his eye or eyes if you had another one I don't know who would the bat who the Batman character would be I used to give all these guys like a nickname too like this guy I think it was this guy or this guy I would call the Dracula because he had like the hood on his like cloak that looked like some Dracula look. Huntsman's pretty cool. Blackbeard's another one I use quite a bit. But yeah, these are oh look it's Justin Bieber. <laughs> uh, I like to use him sometimes too. But I have a better version. I actually own this game for three different consoles, surprisingly. PS4, P Xbox One, and Xbox 360. I think I have, like, better gear for some of the characters on there, but I did work on some of the gear in this game, too. Especially for him. Um, some of it I already had automatically from uh, playing the game in past playthroughs, especially with my friends. I used to love just playing a lot with my friends, but they don't play with me anymore. <laughs> Tech Nabbit, play with me on Assassin's Creed, please. I want to do another round. It's probably because I'm really good at uh, blending in and beating the snot out of everybody. I didn't demonstrate that very well, though, in my gameplay today, though. I will try to fix the problems. I really don't know why... Like, my breathing comes in. If it's coming in in this video, and I still don't notice it, I don't know what to do. Please help me out. I'm not an expert on this stuff. Uh, that's why I buy all this uh, gear, technology, such as the Elgato. And the Elgato is letting me down, too, and it's sad. It's known as one of the better, like recording devices and it's really letting me down in so many different properties and levels of the device itself it's really stupid it's lagged out on me it would stop recording indefinitely it would be slow it wouldn't even close when i wanted it to it wouldn't even open when i wanted it to it would have recording problems such as errors the video wouldn't even record or it would have frame rate on the video and when I go to play back and watch my own videos just monitor them and make sure they're doing well I can't even tell and sometimes like the recording time will just decide to stop but the video is going still so I can't tell <laughs> there's so many problems with the Elgato that I've had and I know everybody talks about it but I'm stuck I'm stuck with the Elgato uh, it works I mean I can get tons of videos up no problem it's just there's so many problems in between here and there. It's just ridiculous. And t the top it off, I have problems with Microsoft too. They give me so many problems. It's one of the reasons I don't uh, live stream on Twitch anymore. They stopped me from live streaming, not because it was. It was mostly because they're. I needed to be an adult, apparently, to uh, record, even though I'm. 24 years old, 23, whatever. I I don't know how old I am. I don't care about age. <laughs> no, but seriously. Um, I know enough that I'm old enough that I'm way past the adult age that they require, which is 18. 
but then when I do have the adult settings on and I apply, I reply to them. All right, I'll put them on. The next time they say put it on, even though it is on, and it won't work, even if it, the adult settings are on. Thank you, Microsoft, you idiots. And thank you, Twitch, for having such dumb setup. The only... And I don't think it's entirely Twitch, because I can record just fine on the PS4 without a problem on Twitch, but... I record most of my Xbox 360 games. I feel it's easier. I just don't like Microsoft or the Xbox right now. They are ticking me off. And they're just getting worse by the minute. Some of the things Phil Spencer says. And you're probably thinking, like, Tam, you sound like you like the PS4, the PlayStation. I actually never did at first. I owned the PlayStation 1, 2, and 3, sure. But when I got into the Xbox original and the Xbox 360, I got I played them more than I did my PS PlayStation systems, surprisingly. I even played my Nintendo systems more than PlayStation. And then when the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One came out, I was very iffy about the one at first. Then I got into both systems when I finally could. I bought the PS4 first. And then I, I'm starting to just really have low expectations and respect for Xbox and Microsoft right now. Well, one and the same. Having very low expectations and hope for them. And they're just making it even worse. Um, they ruined my favorite game title being Halo 5. <laughs> I can't believe they ruined Halo. I hated Halo 5. I deleted that entire Let's Play because not only was the audio, like, double recorded for some reason and being really weird, but I was really mad at the end of the game. Very mad. I put an apology thing on my Assassin's Creed Syndicate, but I want to take that back. Asa Halo 5 sucks. <laughs> I hate it. Sure, the multiplayer is fine, but there are key elements to the game that just suck the split screen, and they have the... This is another reason I don't trust uh, Microsoft. Their head, uh, Phil Spencer, said some of the dumbest trash, where he said, People's lives are too busy to go over one another's house. What if they live in the d same dang house, you idiot, and want to play split screen? What if they live next door? Are you saying people are too lazy to just simply walk their next door neighbor you're a bag I don't even want to say it they're trash it's stupid and just some of the other really stupid stuff they do I can't stand them oh and even though Sony is no more perfect uh, there are things about the PS4 that definitely in are improved better than the plays the Xbox. For example, if you didn't have an Elgato, you could actually record up to 15 minutes on the PlayStation 4 using audio. On the Xbox One, originally, you could only do five minutes, and you still have to, unless you have a Kinect. But once again, I don't trust that piece of trash that they were so suspicious about. And the way they acted about it at E3, yuck. They even lied so much about it, too, in their system. They made promises that were too high of expectation to even deliver. Uh, some of the games the PlayStation has from backwards compatible stuff, even though some of it's rent, I still think they have a lot more going for them than what Xbox has at this time. Most of the stuff Xbox is putting out there for backwards actually sucks. Like, sure, there's Assass Assassin's Creed 2 fables. Uh, that's another reason I hate Microsoft right now. They, like, put down so many companies, and now Lionhead Studios is gone. Thanks, Microsoft. Bunch of morons. Um, I love Fable. I can't believe it's gonna be gone for good. I didn't even get to participate in Fable Legends. And then there's, um... Let's not even get started on what they demoted Rare to in the early years of stinking being making Connect games. But yeah, Microsoft ticks me off. 
There's so many improvements. And now the NAT type, compared to the Xbox One and the PS4, I think the NAT type is even worse now. Like, I didn't notice that be at before. Um, sorry. But, um, I got worked up over this stuff. Microsoft is ticking me off. It's just so stupid. And it's, that's not even cracking the surface of it all. Please like, share, and subscribe. Leave comments below, and I'll see you guys next time.